Hi and thanks for joining me again. So before I start, quickly show the colours. We've got Ultramarine, Cad Yellow, Payne's Grey, Lizarin Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red, using the Large on Ransom 8 brush and 15 by 11 paper. Let's kick off with a big brush and some clear water all over the paper. Then I'm going in with a bit of light red, add yellow, sort of orangey, yellowy colour. Smash some of that in. More red. Then I'm going into ultramarine. Actually, let's clean the brush a little bit on that. Ultramarine, let's try again. Push that in from the top. Keep it in that yellow for some reason. Let's get that down there. And down there, I want this quite dark, shadowy. Dark colour straight away, and I'll see what happens later. Right then, so we've got a sort of general background to work with now. So. Next thing I'm going to do is give it a quick dry. I'm just going to try and lighten it. Just try and lighten it a little bit. I'm just using a clean brush. Try and be a sort of light source, that's all. <laughs> right, now if there's something right on the horizon, I might slip into a little bit of Payne's Grey, just try, just try and get some real dark. Silhouetted, just some, something on the horizon line. Some little trees there, deliberately put against that light in this area. So that's all I want to do for that little bit. And then in front of that, you know, there's a bit of red. Bit of blue, bit of red. Trees. Just popping some trunks in first, just to so trunks on mass. Then I'm popping in. Trees. A few more over in this little, little bit there. And we'll have some more over here as well. Just pop the trunks in. Make that a little bit bigger. That's the dominant tree. That one there. A bit more, a bit more red in there. The pine's grey. See what I've done. To, this is meant to be slightly further forward, actually. Put them on the horizon line by mistake. Nice. 
And I've washed clean the brush thing, so I've gone back straight back into some dark colour. And another layer. Slightly too dark. It's a little bit, a little bit darker. Bit of red. Um, plenty of red. I was trying to put a path in. I was just thinking something, something like that. Let's just, let's just switch to the rigger brush now. Just add a few more, plenty of paints, plenty of water. Let's just pick a few little things up there. Can't see them terribly well because everything's so dark. So I might just put something. Push it right up into that lit area so you can actually see them. Something around there. A bit more water, a bit more paint. Let's just stick some of oh, no, I don't want to get too mad. No. Let's just pull this tight. Get it flat against. Yeah, I was wondering if I could put a few little, few little stones in just to define the path a little bit better. Trying to scrape a few things just to define that path a little bit better. I'll give that a quick dry and I'll put a figure in. To the rigger brush. I want to get nice and dark. So I want it silhouetted against that light area of the sky. Now it's the same sort of tone as the trees, really. So it needs to be a decent size because if I put them too small, these trees are just going to look too big. I'm 
thinking something starting with his shoulders. his head up and then just just in front of him little dog there's an odd load of shadow I'm just gonna pull some pull something down in there. I think I'm gonna switch to an even smaller little brush Too thick, too thick. I'm going to mess it up. I'll come back to that in a sec. One bird, two birds, another one there. just to use it as an eraser. Well, I think I'm going to call that one finished. So all that's left to do now, pop your name in the corner. And I'm going to go down there because it's slightly lighter so you just be able to see it. So let's see what that looks like with the mount on. So here we have the paint in its mount. So let's have a closer look at it. Starting off with the sky, um, got the sort of red, yellowy, bright, sunsetty colour just above the horizon line there in first, then got the blue in around it. And then just on the horizon, just here, we've got these distant bushes, whatever they are, just sort of defining the horizon. I'll put it nice and dark, silhouette against the light sky. Then we got these trees silhouetted against the light sky here. So we just use the corner of the hake just to put all the foliage in and then sort of chisel edged hake just to put all these tree trunks in. Another mass of trees here on the right hand side again. It's a nice contrast against the light area of the sky, see how they're silhouetted. See this one, not quite as light down here, so you don't get quite as dramatic effect as you, as you do there and there. So. But nonetheless, again, putting dark silhouette against the sky, height brush, suggesting all these different trunks. Then I wanted this foreground in nice and dark because it's, it's you know it's meant to be a, a sunset scene. So all of this is in shadow, the whole foreground area. Used a bit of light red here, put the path in, um, and then sort of emphasised the root of the path. Just scraped in a few rocks, just to show the outline of the path leading up to our. Uh, little man with his little dog bear and then a bit more rigor work here just flicked up a few twigs and branch things going on here on the left hand side well that's it for, all that, for this one I hope you enjoyed that remember you can join me over on patreon if you want to watch more videos you'll see the link in the description so until next time keep practicing any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon